Welcome to this quick review series on the order of operations. So I designed this review series to help you review for initially a math placement exam like Alex, but honestly you can use it as a quick review if you forgot this topic in your math class. Uh, sometimes I talk about Alex and you can just ignore that if you're not using this for that. Okay, so the order of operations. So <laughs> something interesting I've learned about the order of operations is that there's a lot of different, a lot of different mnemonic devices for it depending on which country you're in. Um, in the United States, we use PEMDAS, and PEMDAS stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So this is, of course, what I'm going to use, since I know that a lot of people um, watching this are probably familiar with this, but I do have a complaint with PEMDAS. So the issue is that a lot of people actually don't quite know what this means. This isn't telling you the exact order to go in actually. Um, so let me explain. So what we need in addition to PEMDAS is kind of these sets of cues right here. So it is parentheses first and then do any exponents second. But the thing that tends to get a lot of people is the multiplication and division. These actually go together from left to right. So it's whichever comes first from the left to the right. So a lot of people miss this one and think it's multiplication then division. And I'll show you some really classic examples of why this matters in a second. And then finally we have addition and subtraction. These also go together from left to right. These two do not tend to be as big of an issue. It's usually the multiplication and division that gets people. Okay, so let me just show you the all time classic example. So. 10 divided by 2 times 4, something like this. Okay, so if you had forgotten what PEMDAS stands for, you might think, oh, multiplication comes before division. So let's look at that problem again. So I have multiplication here and division here. So I'm going to do this in green. So this is the wrong way, just to, to show you why this matters. So if I were to do this, so I'm going to do... Let's see, I'll do the 2 times 4 first. So this becomes 10 divided by 8. See how this does not evenly divide? It's not that we can't do this, but this really just would equal 10 over 8, which equals 5 over 4. Okay, so now let's do it using the order of operations properly. So, like I said, our multiplication and division, they come together from left to right. So it doesn't matter which one comes first, it's just you're, you're doing all of those. So in this case, yes, it is the division that comes first, but as I'm moving from left to right, this is the first thing that comes up. So 10 divided by two is five, and then I multiply that by four. So this equals 20. So as you can see, there is a huge difference between these answers, and this is why this matters so much. But this is like super common that people forget this. So really important that we remember this. Okay, so with that in mind, for the rest of this video, we are just gonna talk about a bunch of different examples now of working with PEMDAS and try to keep in mind that classic example. So an example like A, this is pretty straightforward. Um, it's really nice, we have two sets of parentheses, 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 and then multiply those two results together. So if I take six minus four, so that's what's in that first set of parentheses, this would be two, and then two plus three, so that's five. So then I just have to do two times five, so that's gonna equal 10. Okay, so why don't you give this next one a try just to make sure that you're good and hit play when you're ready. Remember, math is not a spectator sport. You'll learn more by trying it. Okay, so I'm gonna take 24, so I have to do the parentheses first. So inside the parentheses, I have negative three plus five, so that'll equal two. And so just remember if you if you wrote negative two, so five is bigger than than negative three, right? Like the absolute value of this, that this is really five minus three. So if you have to reorder that, you can also do that. Okay, so now I have 24 times two and that equals 48. Okay, so I have another one. Uh, this has a little bit of everything in it. So again, why don't you pause here, give this one a try and then hit play when you're ready. Okay, so for this one, there's kind of a lot going on here. So I have a set of parentheses, and then within the set of parentheses, I have this exponent. So according to my order of operations, I need to start inside the parentheses, and then I have to do that exponent first. So we will just start there. So this will become 
16 divided by 2 times 5. And now I can work inside the parentheses and do this multiplication and division from left to right. So as I'm moving from left to right in here, 16 divided by 2 is 8. Uh, so this becomes 8 times 5 plus 3. 8 times 5 is 40. And then 40 plus 3 equals 43. Okay, cool. So we've done a few examples now of, of PEMDAS. I want to actually talk a little bit about how exponents play into the order of operations. And I want to talk about one of the really classic things that comes up with exponents. So I've got negative 3 with parentheses squared versus negative 3 squared. So this is another thing that tends to get a lot of people. And the thing that we want to really know about this is, again, it, it really comes down to the order of operations. And the other thing that's actually very important to know, for all negatives that are of this form, negative a, what's actually happening in the background is negative 1 times a. Okay, so let's think about why that matters now here. So here, while this might be negative 1 times 3, this whole thing is technically in parentheses. So when I have negative 3 squared, what that's really asking me to do is negative 3 times negative 3, and that equals 9. Versus, what about this other example? Well, there are no parentheses here. So here's actually what's happening in this case. This is kind of in the background of what's intended. And thinking back to our PEMDAS, right, the exponent has to come before the multiplication. And so a lot of people forget this, but this will equal negative 1 times 9. So this actually equals negative 9. So this is a really classic thing that comes up with the order of operations. And we're going to practice this a little bit going forward. OK, so I have here, um, oh, sorry, this should be a division sign. Um, so this is negative 6 with parentheses squared divided by negative 2 squared. OK, so why don't you pause the video here? Just take a stab at it. Even if you get it wrong, that's all good. You'll learn more if you get something wrong versus if you just watch me do it perfectly the first time. OK, so thinking about this. So I've got, we, we can even break this into different pieces if you want. So if you find this like really overwhelming in your brain, that, that kind of just means you need to practice it more, which is, you know, no big deal. So let's just focus on negative 6 squared for a second. So what is that? That's negative 6 times negative 6. And so that will equal 36. OK, versus let's take negative 2 squared. So remember, in the back of my mind, I know that that's actually negative 1 times 2 squared. So that's going to be negative 1 times 4. So that's going to equal negative 4. So I can rewrite this whole thing then as 36 divided by negative 4. And 36 divided by negative 4 will equal negative 9. So if, you know, looking at this, like I said, if, if looking at this kind of just makes your, your brain, you get steam coming out of your brain, that kind of feeling, just break it up into pieces like, like you see here. And then you can bring them back together. And usually this is just a sign, that, like this is really common for this to be overwhelming if you haven't done this in a while. So just do what you need to do. Write things out. Take your time. It will come back to you. You just need to practice it a little bit. OK, so let's try another one here. So I have, you know what, I'm actually just going to let you read it over and give it a try. Like I said, you'll get more out of this if you give it a try. So hit play when you think you've got it. All right, so there's a lot going on with this one. Um, so I'm going to start inside the parentheses. And inside the parentheses, I have 2 to the third. So I'm going to start there. So I'm actually going to leave the, the rest of this alone. So this becomes negative 3 times 8 plus 10. Cool. And then I will complete the parentheses. So I'll take negative 3 times 8. So that's negative 24. OK, so now I'm really done with that set of parentheses. I don't have to leave them there. I have a tendency to leave parentheses around a negative number. It's just, you know, I've been doing math for forever. I just think it looks nicer. Um, but if you drop the parentheses, that's all good. And then next, I need to work on the exponent out here. So this is negative 4 to the third. So this will be negative 64. And instead of this being um, this plus minus, I'm instead just going to write this as minus 24 plus 10. OK? So now we can just go from left to right. So we can start here. 
So, so don't be a hero, by the way, when you're doing this. Usually when people make a mistake with this, it's because they just try to do the whole thing in their head. So just take your time, it's no, no problem, right? So negative 64 minus 24, this has gotta be a negative number, right? It's a negative minus a negative, uh, or a negative and a negative. So this will be minus 88 and then plus 10. So negative 88 plus 10 will give me negative 78. Okay, and so while we're at it, I'd love it if you'd hit the like button on this video if you're finding this helpful, or a comment. Um, I'd also love it if you would subscribe or tell your friends about this channel. I'm trying to make this really nice quick review series, and so I appreciate all the help I can get and likes I can get and all that good stuff. Okay, so let's keep going with this. So now we've got this whopper of a problem. <laughs> you know, I, I don't want you to get bored watching these videos. Okay, so. I put this set of brackets out here so these can show up sometimes. So these are just to make it easier to distinguish because there are multiple sets of parentheses. So I've got parentheses within parentheses and so these are just there as a visual cue as to which parentheses it is. Some books will just use like, I don't know, like four sets of parentheses. It gets a little visually dizzying so that's what that's about. Okay, so once again, um, just keep trying these and you know, if you get stuck, that's fine. But take this as far as you can, hit play when you're ready. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the giant set of parentheses. And uh, within this giant set of parentheses, I have this set of parentheses, so I guess I really have to start here. So this will be three, so two minus four is negative two. So this is negative two squared, but it's in parentheses. So we know how to deal with that, right? And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and just deal with the parentheses here. So this is negative three plus two, so that's gonna equal negative one. Okay. So dealt with the parentheses out here, still working on the parentheses in here. So now I need to take negative two squared. I need to work on my exponent next. So negative two squared, that will be, so just as a reminder, since it has parentheses, we think of that as negative two times negative two, so that equals four. So this will be three times four plus one times negative one minus one. Now. Sometimes there can be a temptation. Oh, I see a negative one minus one. You may have gotten the, the temptation to subtract these from one another. You can't do that, right? Because we're supposed to multiply this by negative one and then subtract one. So again, from the order of operations, we have to do the multiplication before we do any addition and subtraction. So that's a really common error as people work, are working through this because it's kind of like you, you wanna just get it done, but we can't actually touch this yet until we're done with this set of parentheses. Okay, so onwards. So now I've gotta do the three times four. So the three times four is 12, and I'm just leaving the rest of this stuff alone. And then 12 plus one is 13. So now I can take 13 times negative one minus one. So again, remember your PEMDAS, you cannot add these together. Visually, sometimes people really get the temptation to do that, but first I have to do this set of multiplication first. So negative 13 times negative one is negative 13. And now I can subtract the one at the end and that will equal negative 14. Okay, so for this video, I have just one more. Um, so give this one a try, hit play when you're ready. Okay, so I'm gonna go inside the sets of parentheses. So negative five times nine will be negative 45 divided by, and so this is negative three squared. So since it's around a set of parentheses, I can just write this now as positive nine. And so now I've just got negative 45 divided by nine. So this one just equals negative five. So this one wasn't too crazy. Now, um, I just wanna state that you can't master math by watching a ton of YouTube videos. You do have to practice it. So each review video also has a companion additional practice problem set, and they have their own PDF of problems, an answer key, and then a video showing you how to work any problems. So just because you've watched this video, like I would say you still need to practice some more. You can find all of this information for free at my website, dividingconquermath.com, and just go to the review section. My review series also has many other topics in it. So this is just one on the order of operations, but I've got exponents, fractions, I've got all sorts of good stuff that everybody forgets. Each topic includes a refresher video. This is what you just watched, the refresher video. 
and then also the additional practice problems answer key and then the extra video that works out the practice problems. So I've really got everything that you need to help you review. And like I said, everything's at divideandconquermath.com. Just go to the review section and you can find everything there for free. Okay guys, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.